We have in front of us the Lewis structure for ClO3- the chlorate ion and you'll notice that chlorine has more than eight valence electrons around it. It's an exception to the octet rule. So we want to see is this the best Lewis structure, the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for ClO3-. To do that we'll calculate the formal charges. So let's start with this oxygen right here and calculate the formal charges. Oxygen always has six valence electrons. It's in group 16, or sometimes called 6A, so we'll put our six valence electrons there. We'll subtract non-bonding valence electrons. These are the electrons that are not bonded. They're not involved in a chemical bond. They are still connected to the oxygen. It's just that they're not shared between another atom. We have two, four, six of those. And from that, we're going to subtract the bonding electrons that are involved in the chemical bond. Those are between atoms. These two right here, we have two of those, and we'll divide that by two, so two over two. And we can see that six minus six is zero, minus two over two gives us a formal charge of negative one. We'll write that right up here and put parentheses around it. Let's take a look at this oxygen here with the double bond. Oxygen, six valence electrons, minus non-bonding, there are two, four non-bonding valence electrons minus bonding, two, four bonding electrons divided by two, and six minus four is two, minus four over two, that's zero. So we can put a formal charge of zero up here for this oxygen. If we go to do the formal charges on this next oxygen, this one right here, we'll see that it has the same orientation as the previous oxygen. It has a double bond and then there are four non-bonding valence electrons around it. So we really don't need to calculate this again as we've already done that. So we can just put the zero with the parentheses and we've done the formal charge for this oxygen. Next up, let's take a look at that chlorine in the center of this atom. Chlorine's in group 7A or group 17, so it has seven valence electrons. We'll subtract the non-bonding, and there are only two valence electrons that are non-bonding for this chlorine, so we'll put our two here, and then we're going to subtract the bonding valence electrons. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. Divide that by two, and seven minus two is five, minus ten over two is zero. So the formal charge on the chlorine is zero. At this point we've calculated the formal charges for each atom in the ClO3 minus Lewis structure and we found that if we look at all of the formal charges together we have zero plus zero plus zero plus negative one we have an overall formal charge of negative one and that makes a lot of sense because up here we have the negative charge on our chloride ion. So that's the Lewis structure for ClO3 minus. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.